Welcome to this presentation on the independence values t test. Now let's define what independent values t test is all about. It compares the means of two groups. Group 1 is shown here and group 2 is shown here. So it compares the means of two groups on the dependent variable. Now we can assume that the dependent variable could be weights and the independent variable could be the gender. So the independent variable, the variation in the values of the dependent variables, weights, across gender, across the two genders are being checked and analyzed in the independent values t-test. We want to know whether these two are different or are the same. So that is what we are focusing on. Now the independent values t-test is an important test for statistical analysis. So the key assumptions are the two groups are distinct from each other. There are two groups are no values are common and the de dependent variable value is continuous and there are no outliers in the overall data. So our job is to disprove or prove the null hypothesis. The statistical difference between the two groups are not significant. That is what we have as the null hypothesis. The mean of group 1 is equal to the mean of group 2. That is what we have as the null hypothesis. So what we try to do is now we are using PSPP for this analysis part. I am showing the various characteristics name, age, gender, then statement 1, statement 2, statement 3, statement 4, statement 5. These characteristics I am showing. Now to proceed with the experiment what we try to do is we I am just showing the sample of the data that we are showing here. What we try to do, we apply the analyze, then compare means, then come across to independent values t-test and it opens up the list of variables that are there. I have to first select the dependent variables. I have to first select the dependent variables. For experimentation purpose, I am selecting the value S5 and I am selecting the dependent variable first. Then. I am selecting the independent variable. So the variation in the dependent variable across the independent variable. Now if you look at uh, PSVP it says no it's not okay. You have to first define the groups that are available. So the dependent variable this gender it has values 1 and 2. So I sell de define the value and then immediately PSVP says okay you can proceed the test. Now I the uh, output is open as, as a separate file in PSVP. The output is opened as a separate file in PSVP. I can see the means here, I can see the two means here, the mean values, we will come to that in a moment. So the most important value is the significance value. The most important value is the significance value in the Levine's test. What is the Levine's test? Levine's test first vary looks at the variances across a single group. So in a single group that is gender in a single group male, whether the number, how far the numbers are spread out. And that is what is measured in a, the Levine's test. So let us just have the slide and the uh, output from BSVP. A variance of 0 indicates that the values are identical. The variance of 0 indicates that the values are identical. Now if the significant value is greater than 0 0.05, the group variances can be treated as equal. The group variances can be treated as equal. If it is less than 0 0.05, then we have unequal variances and we have to select the second column. So the first column and the second column across the t-test. How, how do we select first column or second column, first row or second row? We have to apply that. Now where does this point 0, 05 come from? Let's go through the entire process again. Let's go through the entire process again. Select the value S5. Select, uh, select the dependent variable. Then select the independent variable. Now if you look at this and let's define the groups again. So it's a simple recap for you. It's a simple recap for you. Now when I click the options option, there is a significant result, the confidence interval. Now the confidence interval value is 95 percent. So if I have 0 0.05, that is where the 0 0.05 comes up. That is where the value 0 0.05 comes up. The 0 0.05 signifies the confidence level and based on the confidence level, we can now go into the t-test values.
so the next step is to apply the t-test values now what we can see in this diagram is that based on the t-test values we can proceed with the overall process so uh, uh, the hypothesis states that if the p-value is less than our chosen significance value we can reject the null hypothesis what we have obtained is 0 0.000 so which is less than the significance value thus we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the group mean in group 1 and group 2 are significantly different so that is if you look at that the mean in me to prove that the mean in group 1 and group 2 are the significantly different and we can conclude let's go to the data now one interesting aspect is that i basically i have experimented with the data and you can see the data of uh, the gender and the last column you can see that the gender for female is 5 and the value for male is 1 so value for female is 5 and value for males are 1 value for gender for female is 5 and value for male is 1 thus instinctively we can understand that our hypothesis is holds good our hypothesis holds good and the whole process is proper now let's try to look at one more variable say s4 gender and s4 and try to do the same test and then come out to the results so we are taking gender and a statement s4 and similarly we i have experimented the values the values are either one or two there is no difference between these two values there is no difference between the two values so i go through the same steps so compare compare means independent values t test then select the dependent and the independent variables select the dependent and the independent variables map the groups 1 and 2 then continue click so I click ok I don't want to experiment the options I just click ok I come up with the output screen I open the output window it's opened up as a separate file and it's appended similarly like before I look at the mean values the count values then I also come look at the means it instinctively says there is no difference between the means now I am interested in looking at the Levine's test values the Levine's test values if you recall from previous experiments the Levine's test value must be if the significance values of the Levine's test is greater than 0 0.05 then it is treated as equal we have to read the first column otherwise you have to read the second column so here the confidence value the p value is definitely greater than our chosen confidence value the p value that we have obtained is then definitely greater than the chosen value and hence the null hypothesis is not proved the null hypothesis is not proved mean group 2 and group 1 are not significantly different the alternative hypothesis holds good so the mean in group 1 and group 2 in this case are not significantly different because they are more or less the same so the alternative hypothesis holds good now let me go again and say okay let me take a random another set of variables do the same process again and again repetition repetition enhances the knowledge so I'll just repeat the whole process again across gender now for these values these values are mixed values these values that I am taking up are mixed values I don't know the answer to this I have not done any analysis of this so I click the whole process I do the whole process again I do the whole process again now I look at the mean values I look at the Levine's test significant values then based on the Levine's test significant values I select the variance I select which row I have to select the data from which row I have to select the data from I have to select the data of the first row and then I go into the next value now this p value is greater than 0 0.05 is greater than 0 0.05 and the thus the means in group 1 and group 2 are not significantly different hence the alternative hypothesis holds good so let's recap we have we have studied on the independent values t test so the independent values t test compares the means of two groups 
depend dependent variables and the of dependent variables now we check whether first check whether the variance of two groups are equal or non equal based on that we apply up find the appropriate significance level and prove the hypothesis that the means between the groups are same or different